So hi everyone, uh, today I just want to do a very quick tutorial on how to add a vehicle in Carla. I've been using Carla for my research work, but I found the tutorial on their official website not very useful when I tried to do this part where it's bind bones to the meshes because I have never used any modeling software and so I feel the need to just record my uh, steps to do to actually add a vehicle in Carla. It's just not only for myself but also for a lot of viewers if needed. So first of all let's try to download a 3D model. The one that I'm looking at specifically is the truck model. What I found here is this uh, website CG Trader. I just downloaded a free FBX file which is usually one of the model files and the software that I used for modeling is this Blender here. So now I have already opened up a, uh, a new session. What I'm going to do is first I need to actually download the, not download, but actually import. There's a Tesla file. This is downloaded from Unreal Engine 4. And I would want to start building things from this given template. Then I would import the 3D model that I just downloaded, which I believe is this one here. But actually before that, I want to organize things so it can be put properly into my folders. Awesome. As we can see, this thing is huge, and we don't need the rest of it. All we need is essentially this truck here, which is pretty big. Okay, and I don't want to work with a lot of objects, so what I'm going to do is to do object join to merge it into one object, and I'll just make it up visible. These three are the three modules, like the same models of a car. I just make them invisible for now. What I'm gonna do next is to replace the mesh here with the one that I just imported. It's called U I don't know what the how that's in called What's his name? Mesh 007. Okay, now we can see it's super small. Let's scale it up by pressing S. What I usually do is to make sure the vehicle width is about like two of this grid. Like two. I really don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. smaller okay and then let's compare it with this car here you can see the orientation is different so let's press R rotate around at that axis 180 degrees good now we have to make sure the car stays above the ground now there's some overlapping. What I'm gonna do is tap G for grab and that for that axis, moving it up a little. Now we can change it to wire frame view. Yep, it's easier for us to make the modeling here. Now what we're gonna do is we can notice there are wheel front left and right. What we're gonna do is change to edit mode. Let's try to move this to align to the center of the wheels. It's, it's quite accurate, which is I'm fine with it. Now let's do with the rear left and right. OK, 
Okay. Now what we, what we are gonna do is to assign the vertex groups. Essentially, that means uh, assign the, I say the tires to all the vertex groups in this template here. So what we're looking at right now is this wheel front left and front right. What we're gonna do first is to uh, simply change it to edit mode. What we are gonna do first is the front right. So let's choose the selection tool change the radius to 50 for example. What I do is just press on shift and then control to undeselect and use numpad. This will give me a hmm, yeah I think I'm okay with that part. Front right and I can click on sign and it's done. Similarly we should do it for the rest of the four wheels. I just select this wheel this wheel, deselect by pressing control and then use less. Then this gives the front left. Same thing goes for this here. Deselect Like not working that much. Uh, actually, have to do. Re I have to redo it because the front left wheel was selected somehow. I forgot to deselect it. This is a rear left wheel. Same goes for the rear right wheel here. Now let's just to make sure everything's working, let's change to a weight paint mode. Rear left, uh, rear right, front right, front left, rear left. Okay, that is good. So we can change it to object mode. Now what we are gonna do next is to limit the rotations because the wheel only rotates along this axis, which is, I believe, Y axis. Oh, uh, hmm. So what we're gonna do here is to change into pose mode and we have to click on these poses in this here the bone constraint properties add location to be not moving in its local space local space basically means the local space of that object which is a wheel and we have to limit the rotation also in local space along the only allow the y-axis similarly let's do it for all the wheels here rotation This part is pretty boring, as you can see. I'm almost done. If there's any shortcuts to do it at the same time, let me know, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm new to this as well. That's why I felt the need to actually record a tutorial video for myself in case I forgot it in the future. OK, once this is done, let's just make sure everything's working. Let's press R. Right now, we're on the rear. Let's change it to front right, which is this way. Press R to rotate it. OK, it's working. Just make sure, working, make sure, working, make sure it's working. Okay, awesome. Now I just it's working. Let's don't forget to delete these three modules and let's save. First save this blend file. What I will save is called truck09. And I would export it. To FBX file, which is required by the Unreal Engine. There are some settings that I need to do, which is only choose these settings because that's how the axis is working. 
have to make sure this is x forward and work that up. You also also have to verify it in the in Splendor. The way you verify it is you click on move and click on this. You need to make sure red is for x, green is for y, and blue is for z. So basically, the vehicle is facing for, forward with x axis and z up, which is exactly what we need. Now let's import it into our real engine editor. And I need a second to open it up. Just to save this for in case. Okay, that's what I usually used to play in this town, there was six. It's uh, more like a highway sequence where the roads are pretty just long and doesn't have as many turns as other maps. Now let's try to import the models that we just made into this. First let's create a folder, truck09, under these vehicles. And let's import the files we just made. Truck09. Import all. You can pause to see the setting that I made. Uh, I made some modifications based on the default ones. So first let's try to change this to a sphere. And the kinematics and simulation generates. Oh, this tutorial here I just follows basically what's already here. Just follow this web page to add the vehicle. But there are some couple of things you need to make sure. Okay, now let's move on to the next. collision models but personally because like my work doesn't involve as much to do with Unreal Engine I kind of avoid understanding the whole thing I think yeah it's probably not a good idea but okay so now what we're gonna do is we need to have these collision models for the, the wheels to be present what that means is it needs to be outside this box as defined by the vehicle body. Yeah, here is good. Now just to make sure, I usually like to make these a little bit bigger. And to make sure it wraps around the wheels perfectly. Now everything's ready, let's just save this. Close it. What we're gonna do next is to create an animation blueprint for the vehicle. Um, the parent class I believe is vehicle animation instance, and uh, this would be Chocolate Skeleton. Let's create this blueprint and name it under BP Truck Zero. No, animation. And according to the tutorial, what we're going to do next is to just copy the Tesla animation. Remember, it's animation graph, copy whatever it is here, and paste it 
into this animation we have here and connect it. Now it's compiled, we can exit and actually go to the blueprints. And here we will add the vehicle truck line. But we will have the blueprint class is first called vehicle wheels. We need to add the wheel for both front and The naming is very strict, so I would definitely recommend you look at the official tutorial and make sure you're following it strictly as I am. Otherwise, it's definitely gonna, it's definitely not gonna work. So let's see the property. What we need to modify is the shape, radius, and width of the wheel. What we're gonna do is let's just try to measure it. Rough, I would say. 30, uh, let's call, give it like a 39. And uh, the width would therefore be 30. 39 and 30. 39 and 30. It's a front wheel, so it's not affected. And steering angle, yes, that's exactly what we need. For the rear, 39 is 30, and it is affected. And change this to zero. Oh, I forgot to change this to common tire configs. So we have to do it for the front wheel as well. Don't don't remember, don't forget that actually. Yep. Uh, now this is done. I just need to create a blueprint class for the vehicles now called base vehicle pawn pawn it's called bp truck real nine and uh, what we're gonna do is to change the mesh here to animation and scatter mesh awesome now let's go to vehicle movement search for wheel setup Change the wheel to be to be basically to correspond to each other. Front, front, and rear, rear. Com now compile and save. What we're gonna do last is in the vehicle factory. It's taking some time to load. I hope it's not stuck. Let's double click on the vehicles. I already have a lot of vehicles. I'm gonna add one more. Make, I just call it truck. Model truck 09. Class it's Blueprint truck 9. Now let's compile and save it. Now let's turn and on my terminal window. I would have an example here, which just does manual control. The truck that you're editing is called Truck09. So let's try to do that. Now, what it's gonna give me is this Pi Game window. Let's try to see if it can be run. Well, it actually looks really tough. I don't know where the side door is. Hmm. Oh, wait, there is a side door? Yeah, there is a side door. It's just too empty here. I'm not sure if this is going to cause a problem if a lighter scans at it from the back. Yeah. Okay, just to make sure. What I'm going to do next might be try to spawn the NPCs. Essentially, there's only the. What's this called? only truck 9 If this is working and I can see the truck in a very integrated phase, everything will be working. I've never had this problem with the other trucks that I imported. Now if we can see here, 
Yeah. Hmm. It's a bit weird from the back. So okay, so this is the whole tutorial on how to add a vehicle in Carla. Hope this helps.